Hey guys, so I love coffee, as you know, I've done a lot of coffee episodes, and I, I don't drink it black all the time, it depends. If it's really high quality coffee, I'll drink it black. But most of the time I flavor it with creamers, right? And these things, I go through a lot of them. Uh, this one is salted caramel mocha, it's kinda cool. But the number one creamer in America is French vanilla. As you can tell, it's been around forever. Everybody loves it. So I'm gonna show you how to make French vanilla and then I have a bunch of other combinations down below in the description box to help you mix and match. Uh, there's a streusel one and all this other uh, good stuff. So uh, th that recipe is down below also. But let's make this right now and then we're gonna talk about the cost of making it yourself, all right? So come on in close, let me show you what we need. So here's three ingredients, milk, vanilla extract, and sweetened condensed milk, which is just milk and sugar, okay? So let's get these mixed up and try it out. I'm gonna make a cup of coffee, it's gonna be awesome, I can't wait. So go ahead and pour your milk in. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One. And crack open your condensed milk. You want to scrape that off, get it all nice and good. Just pour it on in. Yum. You can use a whisk, you can use a blender. I'm using my emulsifier. We're just gonna go right in there and mix it up. All right, let's pour this in a jar. <laughs> you know what? The simplest steps, and I'm gonna screw this up. I just feel it. So let's just pour it in a jar. Here we go, ready? Ah, uh, nice. Came out nice. Wow, wow, that made a lot. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator just to chill it a little bit until I, my coffee's ready. I'm gonna go make my coffee right now. So here it is. It almost looks like melted ice cream. I guess that's what my creamer looks like. So I'm gonna put in my coffee. There we go. Don't need it all. Get that all mixed up. Look at me, I'm making a mess. All right guys, here's my your eye. Mm, it's good. It works. All right. Well, there it is. You can make it yourself. The bummer is this is the cost breakdown. It's going to cost almost twice as much as if you bought it at the store. But the good news is that if you make it at home, you don't get all the garbage that the corporations put into it. All those chemicals. Okay. So it's up to you. Do you want to save money and drink chemicals or do you want all natural and spend a little bit more? There you go, guys. The other flavors are down below. Enjoy your cup of coffee, and I'll see you on the next episode.